Can a cardiac patient, a diabetic, or even just a person who wishes to lose some weight enjoy the very best recipes in the world, such as good Italian spaghetti bolognese? And for busy working people, can making the recipe be actually quick and easy? The answer is yes to both questions. This video clip means to illustrate how. This video will be a little different from what you expect. We will concentrate less on how to chop onions or stir the sauce with a spoon and more on nutrition and on making a healthy spaghetti bolognese recipe. So what do we need? First and foremost, we will need some nutrition and health guidelines from reputable sources. These sources could be the American Diabetes Association, the, the American Heart Association, the Mayo Clinic, the United States Department of Agriculture and the National Institutes of Health, or the American Medical Association. We will also need some wholesome ingredients. The major health institutions recommend that we use ingredients that are low in saturated fats and free of trans fats, that we use unrefined complex sources of carbohydrates, that we use lean sources of protein, and that we include lots of fiber-rich non-starchy vegetables. We will also need some very special tools. For example, in the hard care version of the recipe, we will use an oil sprayer in order to keep the total fat content low. In all the three versions, we will use some kind of software to monitor the nutritional content and to either perform some meal or some menu planning. So let's cook some good spaghetti now. Why not start by making it delicious, tasty and yummy? We will do that by doing some flavor extraction. First, use the oil sprayer and spray a very fine mist of oil at the bottom of the pot. The recipe calls for a mix of 50% canola oil and 50% extra virgin olive oil. Sprinkle one half of the garlic flakes and half of the spices over the, thin, the thin oily coating. Spray again just a very fine mist of oil over the condiments. Heat or warm very gently for a few seconds. Mm, it already starts to smell yummy. Let's finally chop or dice some onion and spread it at the bottom of the pot. Spray again with a tiny coat of oil for a half a second. The warming oil will absorb some of the aromatic molecules that are responsible for the flavor. Let's now chop a stick of celery and repeat the process. We spread the chopped celery over the onions and we spray again with a very fine mist of oil for about a half a second. Chop some green pepper and repeat the process. Spread over the celery and spray for a half a second. Add some chopped carrots. Cover and heat gently until the veggies are starting to be just a little softer. Ooh, that starts to smell real good now. By the way, you can do this also using a microwave oven, provided of course you're using a proper microwave vessel. The, uh, the veggies will be just a little crunchier. Time now to mix the slightly cooked veggies with some wholesome ingredients. Let's dice some fresh Italian tomatoes and add them in the pot instead of using canned tomatoes which generally have added salt in them. Let's mix with either ground soy, red kidney beans or extra lean ground beef depending on the recipe version that you have chosen. 
add some tomato sauce, one that contains no added salt, and or some fat-free tomato soup reduced in sodium. Add the balance of the spices and condiments. Heat gently and stir occasionally until cooked to your liking. Serve over whole wheat or whole grain pasta cooked al dente and enjoy. You will be asking, well, what about the nutritional content and the health benefits for me? Let's explain that the benefits of optimized care, that is medical treatment plus lifestyle changes and optimized nutrition, are so important that they cannot be ignored. For example, a major five-year follow-up study of heart patients found that people who resorted to optimized care had an infarction rate that was close to only one-fifth of that of the other participants in the study. Comparable and equally large substantial benefits can also be enjoyed by diabetics and by weight-conscious people. You've noticed that in the hard care version, the recipe calls for ground soy. For protein synthesis, it has the same amino acids as beef. The amount of oil used is minimal. We end up with a heart-healthy spaghetti bolognese recipe, which is very low in fat and cholesterol-free. In the diabetes care version, some red kidney beans are used, and the emphasis is put on using whole wheat pasta so as to slow down the absorption of glucose and reduce blood sugar peaks. We now have a diabetic-friendly Italian spaghetti bolognese. In the weight control and maintenance version, the fat content is kept low. A fraction of the pasta is replaced by non-starchy vegetables high in fiber so as to procure a feeling of society. We now have a meal which is balanced and low calorie. Itchim readers are encouraged to speak to their doctor or dietitian regarding their own nutritional requirements. With their help, you will be able to determine what your goals should be regarding the intake of the four main groups of nutrients, such as total fat and saturated fat goals, the types of carbohydrates and proper amounts that you should have, the sources of protein that are best suited for you, and your intake of fruits and vegetables. Once these goals have been determined, enter the spaghetti bolognese ingredients and the amounts in your software. Click and go to the nutritional analysis panel on the right hand side of your screen. You will see immediately if and what changes need to be made. Once you have optimized your spaghetti bolognese recipe to suit your needs, save it into your personal cookbook. All you will have to do in the future will be to drag and drop the recipe in your weekly meal plan or menu, and you'll get a complete instant nutritional analysis of your whole weekly menu. The end result will of course be an optimized nutrition plan which is custom tailored to suit your very own needs and goals. One plan which is very good for you. Do not be shy about discussing your optimized plan with either your doctor or dietitian. You'll find that doctors are generally very sympathetic towards people who really take charge. A complete list of ingredients is available on our website at heartmonitron.com. For now, enjoy your spaghetti and buon appetit!